everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i will be sharing with you guys a bunch of beauty products under 10 dollars because 2021 is coming to an end i thought i share with you my favorite budget products um a lot of these products you see in my videos so i'm not sure if it's a huge surprise for you guys if you watch my other videos you know i've been sick and that's why i still don't sound very well so excuse me for that but um let's get started with the video but first if you are new here on my channel don't forget to subscribe i make a lot of beauty related videos fashion lifestyle and vlogs here in turkey so if you like that make sure you subscribe and now let's get started with the video so I was always a huge fan of Trees products um, but this year I discovered their nail polishes and I have to say this is one of my favorite uh, nail polish formula that I've tried um, the colors are just gorgeous and what I really like about these nail polishes is that they last such a long time like I can wear this easily for about a week um, it just lasts a very long time and they are super budget friendly so I will show you a few uh, colors that I got so this color I absolutely loved in the summer and this is called pastel lemon and this is such a lovely color for the spring and summertime then I have also two other colors that are from the Catrice uh, Caviar Cauché uh, line um, so this was a limited edition unfortunately um, but this is called Flirty Glitter and Eternal Shine and they are just so so pretty so again if you're looking for a new nail polish check out the Catrice ones then I've always struggled to find a good deodorant and especially one that is all natural um, I didn't really care about that to be honest a long time ago like I didn't know how dangerous a deodorant could be with a lot of alcohol and perfume and all of that in it I had no idea but then I discovered the lovely deodorants this is the fresh cotton one it is a stick formula this deodorant is all natural all natural ingredients and you don't smell at all I know this sounds really dirty but I live in a very hot country and in the summertime you just sweat a lot everyone does and with this deodorant you don't smell like I promise you you don't smell so this does smell really fresh and this is called a uh, fresh cotton and I believe this is the one that they sell the most on their website um, I will link it down below I believe it's a Dutch brand uh, but yes I'm a huge fan then my favorite budget eyeshadow palettes are definitely the iHeart Revolution palettes um, I use them all the time also in my uh, Christmas uh, holiday makeup tutorials I use the Tasty Pizza one so um, I guess these are my favorites so this is called the Tasty Pizza one got so many gorgeous shades I absolutely love these colors especially this one right here so pretty then the tasty chili one which is again super pretty for every day again it got so many beautiful shimmery shades and also a few matte shades that you can use in your crease very pretty and you can also make a bold look as well and this little palette is from the revolution friends collection and this is the monica eyeshadow palette and this is the perfect palette to bring with you if you are in a rush like you can throw it in your bag it got a little mirror it doesn't have too many colors but it's just everything you need for every day so i use this one also today and i just grab it all the time and if you're looking for a smaller eyeshadow palette that you can bring with you if you are going somewhere i would definitely recommend um, the monica one then a few of skincare products that again you see all the time on my channel um the l'oreal micellaire water is my favorite and this is for sensitive skin so um if your skin gets quickly irritated i would definitely recommend this one it doesn't have any alcohol or perfume in it um it lasts such a long time like i use it all the time and i still have a bunch left so um yeah this is very very nice micellar water 
Then another product that I absolutely love is um, rose water. I use this all the time like a toner when I remove my makeup. Then this is the last thing I use before applying my serum and all of that. And this is the uh, Rosella one and it's 100% natural. And I just love a good rose water and in Turkey you can buy this everywhere. So um, yeah, really love this. I have such a dry skin and I always like to use a oil. Um, this one is from the Netherlands from Kruidvat. This is a beauty oil. You can use this on your face and also on your body. I like to use this on my face in the night. Um, I have a lot of acne scars and I feel that it actually does help. Um, if I have sometimes like a dry spot on my body, I use this as well. And this is just a beauty oil, but cheaper. So if you live in another country, you can try the beauty oil or one of their dupes. Um, because I think this is great for dry skin. Then a concealer that I absolutely love. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. If you have a pale skin like me, this color is actually uh, light enough. This is in the color C1, the lightest shade, I believe. Um, I just love this formula because it doesn't crease. It lasts all day and um, I really like the applicator as well. It's a huge applicator. This is how it looks. And um, yeah, I just have a little bit left, but um, my all time favorite concealer. Then two products that I always repurchase and the Essence I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara and also the Essence Eyebrow Designer in the color Blonde. So I'm wearing both right now, the mascara and the eyebrow pencil. I think this is a great color uh, for blondes because it is not too warm and not too cool toned. And it also got a little brush so you can brush it up. And um, yeah, my favorite mascara as well. I'm wearing it right now. It is super budget friendly and you get great volume. So I love both of them. Then my two favorite lip products are uh, the NYX Butter Gloss. And I know maybe you're getting bored of this, but this is just the best lip gloss out there. Um, and this is my favorite color, Eclair. And then if you don't like a gloss, I would recommend the Golden Rose um, Matte Lipstick. And whoop, there it goes. Here in Turkey, you still have to wear a mask everywhere. And then it's nice if you have a matte lipstick on because then it doesn't smudge or anything like that. And this formula is super nice. Like it doesn't dry out your lips. Um, so yeah, I really like this formula. And um, if you like to wear a gloss, um, then I will definitely recommend the uh, NYX Butter Gloss. So for every day, I like to use a BB cream. Um, I don't always like to use a foundation anymore. And this is the Olas Total Effect 7-in-1 BB cream. And what I like about this uh, is that it has a moisturizer and a SPF in it. Um, the only thing I will say, this is the lightest shade and it's not super light. Like it's a little too dark for me at the moment. Um, but I do really like this formula. It just gives you like a little bit of coverage, not too much. And um, I believe it's called Olé in other countries. In Dutch it's called Olas, but I believe in America it is Olé. But for every day, I really like to use this uh, BB cream. And then the last budget-friendly beauty product that I like to share is a perfume. And this is the Eiffel perfume and this is a Turkish brand, I believe. And they make like replica perfumes like they smell exactly the same and this is the Dior Hypnotic Poison and this just smells like incredible it smells like a uh, vanilla also it has like a nutty smell if that makes sense <laughs> like almonds or something and um, it's very budget friendly I believe one bottle is about 30 liras which is like three euros and um, you just need the tiniest bit and yeah, if you are in Turkey, uh, I would recommend visiting a perfume shop like Eiffel. They also have a few others um, that make like replica perfumes because they smell exactly the same and are so much cheaper. So these were my favorite budget-friendly beauty products. 
Um, let me know what is your favorite beauty product of this year. I would love to uh, check it out. So please let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe because I'm doing Vlogmas this year. And I would love to see you in one of my other videos. Bye!